Okay, folks, welcome back to Battle for Azeroth. Wanted to do a state up for Guardian Druid. While I have played Druid before, I've never really played Guardian before. So, time walking is going on, as you can see there. Wrath of the Lich King time walking. And I decided to level my, or finish leveling my Druid. And I decided to switch over to Guardian and do some dungeons as a tank. So, since I have never really played Guardian before, and there's not really a lot to go over as far as the spells are concerned what i am going to do is go over kind of just my setup because this seemed to work for me i made some changes just changed kind of one thing around here and there would run a dungeon see if it made a difference or not and just kind of use this more as maybe kind of a setup guide since i wasn't technically at max level so the only real criticism I have is when I started out, I was 111, so from 111 to 120. Um, and in full heirloom gear with the anniversary uh, experience buff, one dungeon equaled about one level. So I was able just to kind of make a change and then run a dungeon and then see did that make a difference and change something else and then do the same thing again uh, so on and so on and when I switched over to Guardian it was already set up I'd kind of been bouncing around as I was leveling so it was already set up and that was just kind of my starting point so the uh, only real criticism I had was with Rage. Rage is not my favorite resource. Um, yeah, I just, I've played Warrior a few times. It's just, I don't know. It's not any one specific thing. I just, I don't, I just don't care for it all that much. I don't care for it as a mechanic. It just doesn't, um, just, I never seem to, doesn't seem to work well with my play style, per se. Um, so, and a lot of your abilities, anytime I play a tank, I look at it from the perspective of healing and survivability. That's what I kind of judge it on. DPS really isn't a high priority in most cases. Um, it's mainly just, can you heal yourself and can you survive um, to uh, keep threat? Because a lot of times, I think we've all at least once been in a uh, situation where the tank died and it's seemingly, you know, all hell broke loose. Um, and I have always um, liked the passive, the or the mastery, rather, that... Um, guardian druids have which is increases your maximum health and healing received so that for a tank is not a bad mastery and often oftentimes in recent expansions anyway when there's been one tank standing it's either been a guardian druid or a brewmaster monk so I've already played, uh, I already played uh, Monk, so Guardian was, was kind of something new. So, as I said, this is kind of my setup that I switched some things around and seems to work pretty well. So, like I said, Rage was the, kind of the only issue was just generating enough Rage, so... I started out with uh, Brambles, and I switched to Blood Frenzy. 
Uh, Blood Frenzy allows uh, Thrash, which is your AoE ability. It places a bleed or uh, damage over time on the target. There is no limit on how many uh, targets can have a bleed on them from this. Some abilities limit it to like three or, you know, your main target and then two additional ones or something like that. This has no restriction on how many targets can have a bleed on them. And then every time the bleed ticks, it lasts for 15 seconds. Every time the bleed ticks, you generate two uh, rage each time it deals damage. So a tick would be dealing damage. So, And that seemed like this was one of the last things I switched around. I, I, I kind of tended to uh, focus more on the higher end of the tree. Um, that seemed to help solve most of my rage issues right there. So, um, especially on mobs and things like that, I was using Iron Fur quite a bit, um, which increases your armor for a short duration, and multiple uses of this ability may overlap, which is great. I just wish that it increased the duration. That was the only thing. It does nothing to the duration. And it only lasts for a, less than 10 seconds. So, and it costs 40 rage. You can only have 100 rage. So, you're, yeah, you, you kind of are starting to see how you could end up not generating rage quick enough. Now, I will say that Iron Fur saved me from dying a few times in different dungeons, depending on the situation. Um, it's not a bad ability, I just wish it did something more with the duration. I think if it could either, if they either increased the duration just to 10 seconds, or made it so that it added a second or two if you added an application to it, um, that would make it make it feel like it was getting the full effect out of it. Because I feel like if you put a new application on there, yes, you're getting the armor effect, but it's not lasting for as long. So it's a bit it's a bit strange for an ability, but that was where most of my rage was going was for uh, iron fur. So blood frenzy with thrash and thrash, I was using either as if not my opener. Um, definitely was was keeping this on cooldown, so that that seemed to work well. Um, for the next tier, I took Wild Charge mainly just to add because I didn't know what else to take. Um, this is a bit of a weird tier here. I'm thinking of switching it to uh, Your Souls Vortex. This might be better. Um, wild Charge just does different things, as you can see, depending on which shape, shape shift form you are in. For Bear Form, it uh, gives you a charge ability, which immobilizes the target. So it's not a bad ability. I just rarely ever used it. Um, yeah, so this is just kind of really personal preference here. Uh, I've used Vortex, your, your soul's Vortex, on, um, well, as uh, Restoration. And it just puts a, uh, well, it says Vortex of Wind, but it just puts uh, kind of at a target location. And then if you run through it, it just pulls you back. So we've either seen it, if not experienced it ourselves, especially if you have done um, PvP. The next tier is something new they've been doing for the last few expansions, which gives you a kind of an off spec without changing specs, if that makes sense. It allows you to choose one of your other three 
specs to play as while you're in your current spec. So since I'm in Guardian, I can choose from Balance, Feral, or Restoration. And it just kind of gives you a passive and then some abilities. So Balanced will increase the range of my abilities and then gives me Moonkin form, which increases armor and makes me immune to polymorphs, of course. And then just basically your the bulk of your, your balance um, DPS abilities. Feral increases movement speed, which I think this is why I wasn't using Wild Charge, because I was always ahead of the group anyway. And immobilizing doesn't always work on dungeon bosses. So at that point, you have an ability that's really just not doing much of anything. I use charge on warrior, which is kind of the strange thing. I use it a lot on warrior before it had any kind of effect like it does today. Um, when it was just basically just a charge. Um, and, you know, just kind of worked it into the rotation. But for some reason, I just never used it on as, as Guardian. So it's a bit, um, bit strange. I, I, yeah, that's why I said I, you could probably safely switch this out. You don't really need it. I don't really use it on anything else. Um, this uh, talent has been in the game for like the last couple expansions now and I've taken it a few times and I've honestly just never used it. I don't know if I just don't think to use it or it just it just legitimately has never came in useful that many times. I don't know. Uh, I digress. So Feral uh, increases your movement speed by 15%, gives you a few abilities. Rake is a bleed, uh, Rip is your, consumes your combo points, and then uh, Ferocious Bite is your, uh, kind of your big damage dealer there. So probably the weaker of the three, and then Restoration gives you your Sarah's Gift, which heals you. If you are at max health, it heals um, an injured party or raid member. And then you have a few abilities there. Wild Growth is your AoE ability. Swift Med is your uh, uh, big single target heal, or a single target heal. And then Rejuvenate is your kind of, um, or Rejuvenation is your big uh, kind of spammable ability. So, um yeah, these, I, there's really no rhyme or reason. You get to pick one for all four specs. Um, just kind of pick whatever whatever you want, really, whatever makes sense, whatever works with your playstyle, whatever you're doing. There's really not much point for restoration as a guardian druid. Um, I took Feral mainly just because the two are so close together. I When I started... Um, Guardian and Feral were one spec, so in my mind, they're just, um, they're, I don't want to say one in the same, but they're, you know, they're more alike than they are different, so for simplicity's sake, I just took, took Feral, um, you could take Balance maybe for questing, off the top of my head, that's what it seems like it would be good for, tanks don't typically do, do all that, they're slower questing because they're they're tanks. They're not, um, you know, uh, DPS is not a priority in, in most cases. So I could see balance being good, or even in PvP, you don't always need a tank depending on which which map you're on. So if you just wanted to do um, just some DPS at one point or another. It seems like balance seems like it would be a perfectly reasonable choice. Um, restoration, I, I just, I don't know. I guess maybe in raiding or PvP. Um, yeah, it just doesn't. Pra practically, you, you, you have one tank, you have one healer. You typically need one, one or both. Um, 
there are fights where you don't necessarily need a tank, you need more DPS, but you typically always need a healer or a tank, one or the other. So kind of swapping between the two is a bit, um, a bit weird, I feel like. So, yeah. And then the next tier, I took Typhoon, which is a knockback. Knock, knocks, uh, targets in front of you back and dazes them. So... Mass Entanglement is an AoE version of Entangling Roots, and then uh, Mighty Bash is just a uh, single target stun. So Typhoon definitely has more um, versatility. I don't really use this for, for much, mainly. I think I used it once to get a mob off the healer in one dungeon. That was pretty much it. Um... Yeah, so just, again, just kind of personal preference play style here. And then the next tier, this was one I kind of played around with. Um, I started out with Soul of the Forest, which increases the rage and damage of Mangle. Mangle is your main rage generator. And I switched it out for Galactic Guardian. Yes. Uh, which triggers Moonfire to be free, which is a weird um, a weird thing because it has no resource cost, it's instant cast and has no cooldown. So I'm not entirely sure what it's making free. Um, and when this occurs, uh, Moonfire deals, uh, or grants, 8 Rage, and deals 300% increased damage. So, this kind of gave... Having Moonfire is a bit odd for what the other abilities do. You have all melee abilities. Um, you have some healing, some survival, survivability uh, kind of utilities. And then you have Moonfire which just seems out of place with everything else. So, Galactic Guardian kind of gives it some purpose. You don't have to worry about it. I was using it starting out, and then when I chose this um, passive, it kind of gives it um, a little bit of purpose. I don't have to worry about using it unless it procs. When it does proc, um, you're getting rage or you're doing some increased damage. Um, it says it has a 5% chance to trigger. It seems like it triggered more than 5%. And when I was kind of thinking about it, looking over things, um, since Thrash is an AoE ability, and that's what I tend to use the most, it says your damage has a 5% chance to trigger uh, a free automatic moon fire on that target. So I'm thinking that each time a bleed ticks, it counts as, obviously it would count as damage. So that 5% chance is actually somewhat of a misnomer. It's actually higher than 5% if you use an AoE ability. Um, I was getting this to proc back to back. Um, had no issues with getting it to proc at all, which is which is weird because I, I was I, I was looking at it and I was thinking, well, there's abilities that have like a 5, 15, 20, 25 percent chance and they never seem to proc. And that's why I kind of started looking and then I thought, OK, your damage has a 5 percent chance. So I would think it's reasonable to assume that bleed damage, a damage over time effect would count as damage some some things specifically say they don't so it seems like common sense however you at times you kind of have to think how does the game think if that makes sense um that was i think this was one of the first things i switched trying to reconcile my rage issues and this helped. This, with uh, Blood Frenzy, completely took care of the issue. So you're already generating rage with Mangle and Thrash. 
So adding in a couple passes that help with that, um, you know, pretty much takes care of the uh, the issue altogether. The only thing at that point I had to wait on was just cooldowns. So um, Guardian of uh, your your suck um, just gives you an improved bear form, reduces damage. Um, Makes Mangle an AoE ability, helps it, uh, allows it to hit up to three targets, and increases armor. Um, when these abilities first came out, like an expansion or two ago, everybody took them. Uh, most people have probably seen the restoration version of this. That is when you turn into the bigger tree. Um, that's what essentially what this does, if I remember correctly. Um, so there's one for each spec again, and yeah, now it's just kind of, um, now it's just kind of, um, personal preference, I guess you'd say, whether people take it or not. Um, I tend to lean towards passives, so Galactic Guardian's fine. Um. It's not that this is a bad ability, I just don't know when I would ever use it, which may sound strange. Um, it, it just, with with Guardian, I noticed you have a lot of short cooldown abilities, so your, your, um, your, using the same abilities um, over and over again. Um, it's set up a little bit like uh, a DPS player would be. You're just running through your rotation over and over. Um, yeah, so Soul of the Forest was fine. It just wasn't. Um, it just wasn't dealing with the rage issues as well as I would have liked. So Galactic Guardian seems to work much better. Um, the next tier, I took Guardian of a Loon. I originally had Survival of the Fittest, which reduces the cooldown on Bark Skin and Survival Instincts, which both just reduce damage. Bark Skin is your baseline ability, and then Survival Instincts is your Guardian ability. Um, I've noticed there's a couple abilities like this in the game. If you're not having issues keeping your um, shields or cooldowns, um, if, if you're not ha having to use them, you know, when they're off cooldown, um, you really don't need to take a passive for it. So I was looking at Guardian of Loon, which increases um, either uh, the duration of Iron Fur, which is what I said earlier, or the healing from uh, Frenzied Regeneration, which is your heal. And, yeah, I mean, either or. Um, you have to use Mangle to trigger it. It does trigger pretty much every time you use Mangle, and Mangle and Thrash I tend to keep on cooldown. So this was almost always up. There were a few occasions where I wanted it for the healing effect, and it wasn't up. Um... But those, those times were few and far between, and I think maybe Mangle was on cooldown or something. Um, but other than that, a passive that increases abilities I already have and gives me a choice of which one I want to use it on. I actually didn't have to use Frenzied Regeneration that much, thanks to... Um, it seemed like in, in no small part to Iron Fur, once you increase your armor... I just really wasn't taking much damage, so um, I was getting, you know, under the attributes, I kind of glanced from time to time, and I was getting up to around 50% damage reduction, so that is, 
that is not bad at all. Um, Earth Warden, when you deal damage with Thrash, you gain a charge of Earth Warden, reducing the amount of damage. Uh, the next auto attack you take up, you you take by 30 percent. Earth Warden may have up to three charges, so not bad. It just I I just don't need a damage reduction. So Guardian Evolume worked uh, works fine. And then the last tier, um, Ren and Tear. Uh, Thrash also increases your damage dealt to the target and reduces your damage taken from the target by 2% per application of Thrash. It can stack up three times. The other two abilities are, I kind of took this by default because the other two abilities are actual abilities and I just really don't need any more abilities. On average, a class will have about five, and I have eight, So, and these are all baseline except for uh, Wild Charge. Um, I did look at uh, Pulverize, which consumes two stacks of Thrash to do damage and reduce all damage taken. Um, yeah, this is kind of a in my opinion, I'd say this is kind of a lackluster tier. You really just don't have much, too much uh, choice here. Um, Lunar Beam does damage and heals you. So there is, if you feel like you need a little more, a um, little extra healing. Really didn't have much problem with self-healing or, um, you know, getting healed from a healer or anything like that. Like I said, you can... Uh, you have a lot of survivability with um, increasing your armor. It is a bit, um, uh, it is a bit uh, weird that the only baseline heal we have is regrowth, which cannot be cast in bear form, and it is a heal over time. So there was actually at least one occasion where I went to use regrowth on myself, and when I left bear form, I lost the uh, additional health that you gain, and I actually died. I actually killed myself. So yeah, it's a bit, bit, bit strange, but frenzied uh, regeneration works perfectly fine. It has two charges, so between that and iron fur, you should be good. So, yeah, so there you go. There is State of Four Guardian. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found that helpful, and thank you for watching.